Even despite all of the recent clouds and the rain, more Texas homeowners are finding that the sun pays. More and more people are using the power of the sun to create their own electricity. And as meteorologist Aaron Moran reports tonight, for some, it can actually eliminate their electricity bills entirely. As the sun shines on Tracy Wallace's home, she knows the solar panels on her roof are soaking up its energy. We're happy to be part of the solution. She and her husband are also happy about the money they save. It's really fun to have a negative energy bill. <laughs> it's just fun to see that come through. The panels installed on their roof two years ago are paying off. We had a bill, even in January, our bill was negative $11. And that's a great way to start the year. But the upfront cost can get you. Installing a five kilowatt solar panel system can run you up to $15,000, and the payback could be closer to 12 years. A 10 kilowatt system, like the one you see behind me, is closer to $30,000. But remember, the larger the system, the more likely you are to completely offset your energy usage. According to a government report, last year, Texas was the country's second largest producer of solar energy after California. It's on track to be number one in the next five years. We all think about Texas as the, the land of oil and gas, but Texas is, is, is by far the number one wind energy installed uh, state anywhere in the country. And uh, solar is catching up very, very rapidly. Dr. Shia, a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Texas A&M, says both the sun and the wind are bringing billions of dollars in investment to the state. That could go a long way in preventing an event like the one we experienced this past February. Once you put up the solar panel on top of your house, you are sort of a combining consumption sources uh, from the panel itself as well as the grid. Think about the grid as this big buffer, right? So if the sun is shining and uh, producing lots of uh, electricity, the majority of the household electricity will be coming from the solar panel. That means you're consuming less energy from the grid. The panels reduce the stress on the grid, but in case of a blackout, your house will be powered if you have battery storage. Now that we see how vulnerable the grid is, we really that's going to be our next purchase as a battery. The right battery backup to keep the power on if the grid fails will double the price of the solar panel system. Tracy and Mark ended up starting their own solar installation company last year after their positive install experience. They're strong advocates for solar energy, but both agree it's not something to go into lightly. You've got to get the permit from the city. You've got to get permission to operate from the utility. You've got to get the inspections, and then you have to get your HOA approval. So it can take several months to go through all of that. But even then, as we look towards the future, many believe that solar is a pretty bright idea. Aaron Moran, CBS 11 News. Aaron also says you can get a 26% federal income tax credit and some other local credits for installing solar panels. You will need, as mentioned, to check with your electricity provider to see if they buy back energy also that you generate through your solar panels. Installers say the panels are durable and they are built in most cases to withstand hail 